Kia ora pana, so here we are with the uh, Memoirs of the Freedom Village Media and here I am with Smiley again, yet again. Kia ora, give me one of these. <laughs> <laughs> How you doing? Very well, thank you. It's been amazing, hasn't it? Oh yeah, tell us about it. <laughs> we, could write a, we could write a book. Yeah. Hey, yeah. on these journeys. Mm. And if it weren't for the scenario as it were in the country, okay, mandates, all that sort of thing, COVID this, COVID that, you know, all that sort of scenario. Would it be true that this story would never have ever been written if it weren't for that? Well, that's it, isn't it? <laughs> so it had a way of bringing us together. Mm. So would you say that, you know, even as a journalist for yourself and media person now, that you'll put a level to which you wouldn't have been able to hit if it went for the timing that we're in. Well, that's it. Pretty much so. Everything's in divine time, eh? So it was that crucible that had to happen. Mm. It had to take place. Mm. And uh, what I found very impressive about our Wellington and uh, that occupation protest scenario. In all of my journeys, which have been many, because, you know, being a media takes you everywhere. You can be at America's Cup one day, you can be at Tamaki Hiranga the next day, you can be at uh, Poly Fest, Poly whatever, you know, you, you can be everywhere. I've never seen something at that level. It was utopian. There was a bandwidth, it, it, it really touched me, you know, and, and uh, because I saw community. And I think that with this word community is common unity. And that's what we saw. Mm. So there can be two versions. Of course, you can hear the main media version, which is, you know, that uh, a bowel movement got thrown. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, tell us about it. And we do know something got hit the fan, as it were. But uh, um, then there are the other versions that you captured, mm. that I captured. Mm. So for me, that story was, I was in Christchurch and I had been rung and, and they had said to me, um, to ones that were part of the organisation, admin of, of the actual event, they said, Smiley, can you come? And I had said to them, I said, well, actually, no, because <laughs> I was in Christchurch filming. And uh, uh, albeit, after I had finished that project, and then you know how it is? You can be in bed one night and, and just something, you know, as you're asleep, and then that... If I may say, voice says, get off your butt and get to Wellington. <laughs> 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 Happened the next morning. Yeah. You, you know what I mean? And, and so yours truly was had a ticket, was going to the Wellington experience, and I tell you something, what surprised me is the on the plane, okay, so the plane was full. Half of that plane was going to the protest. And, and, and how'd you know that? And well, because we all ended up in the same shuttles. <laughs> <laughs> Give me oh, another one of these. So hard. And, and so we're in the shuttles, and then I'm saying to them, Where are you going? And they, and they said, The protest, and then I said, Follow me. <laughs> 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 uh, and, 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 uh, and then we were there. And. Um, to to see what we saw, I, I believe that we we had to see them mm. and see what in, in particular. Well, we had to see how the love, mm. the manaki mm. you know, the compassion, the kotai tanga, bring it on, you know, the oneness. I've never seen that. Mm. And I've been to Māori Hui's, Tenopai, my whānau, <laughs> Toka, and, and, and I, I, I've seen events, and like I said, I've been at, I've been right smack in the middle of the... Oh, it's still going, it's still going. Yeah, it's still, still going, yeah, 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 yeah. 
<laughs> it, just, it just turns off after a while. Yeah, yeah. And, 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 and so I've been there. I mean, I'm at the America's Cup and that everybody going, hey, bring it on, Smiley. <laughs> anybody would think I was the chairman. No offence, yes, Stephen Tindall. Uh, <laughs> kia ora, Tindall pai eho. And, um, but I've not felt what I felt in Wellington. Mm. I'm glad because what I had seen is the way forward. Because mm. we have to have a stage two. Mm -hmm. We have to, now it has to be the moving on mm. phase. Yeah. So how I read it, and I'll, I'm giving a candid report, this, <laughs> there's no gloss here, this is the real deal. So I ended up, um, you know, you, you get caught up in the spirit of what's happening there. Mm. Albeit, because I'm um, coming in, you know, I'm doing two roles. I'm doing the role of ambassadorial, which is to be a happy face to everybody. And that's important. <laughs> Smiling in particular. Yeah, yeah, to come with a happy face. And, and so that's ambassadorial. And, uh, and that's an important role. And even somebody that had that knew me, that saw me there, she said, Shit, you're the most popular person here. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so, but that's all part of vibration. It's, it's a transformation vibration. It's what you emit. So if you can emit the right vibration, then, there's a, then there will be a reciprocation. So, so... The ambassadorial role to which I um, bring, it's like this real estate. We're in here just in my lounge. Mm. Having said that, the real estate in this lounge can be converted. So the atmospheric um, nature of this realm in science, by your presence being in here and emitting a certain vibration, you can convert this the, the real estate of this lounge. Yeah. And that's why when you walk into places and go, oh man, there's some bad vibes there. <laughs> mm. <laughs> you know what I mean, eh? You know what I mean? Yeah. And, oh man, there was some real bad vibes there. Yeah. And then you go into a place and there, there was good vibes. Mm. So what did that mean? There was a conversion of the vibration energy that was happening in that real estate. So, if you can take it now, that's a micro, to a macro level, you can bring transformation anywhere mm. and everywhere. Common that means, unity. That's right, common unity. So, my role was basically that, which is very ambassadorial as well as doing media, etc. It's ambassadorial in terms of you're there to emit a transformation. Mm and vibration which converts the real estate and that to me is the go forward mm. that's the go forward now of course when you come into a situation where there's community common unity then what happens is you get swept up into that same vibration mm. and you've got to ride with the vibration you would find this in media is that yeah. right yeah so so whatever you you have to ride with the vibration i mean look at us we just left the Sunscaped, hey, eh? mm -hmm. we walked in there, didn't know what was happening. Next thing, we're right in the deep end. You're filming it everywhere, doing interviews, doing all that sort of scenario. And, and uh, so, we go from that vibration, and then we had to um, work with that vibration, which is hype. Mm -hmm. It's a hype vibration, yeah. and here we are in more of a relaxed vibration in the mm -hmm. lounge, and yeah. and so you can converse according to the atmosphere that you're in. But you know yourself, we sometimes get in positions where we have to conver convert the atmosphere to make it conducive for a good media story. <laughs> Is that right? So. Very much Is so. that right? Yeah. Now, that means sometimes we have to push our way through. Mm. Now, okay, case in point, we get to Sunscape, we were just left <laughs> Yeah, we didn't know who was in charge. We didn't know yeah. what. And then you end up interviewing the guy that was the key man, eh? Yeah, right. The key guy. Yeah. And, and did you know him before that? Never. Never, never met him? Met him? <laughs> well, there we go. Yeah. Next thing, he starts to give a narrative of what's happening in the background with all the young people, our rangatahi. Huh? 
Oh, boy. So this is the thing, is being able to adjust and being able to read that and work with it. Well, going to Wellington, it had a climax. Mm. I mean, yours truly didn't. I was just like, oh, I just said, this is a utopian atmosphere. Mm. Mm. Yep, totally was. And um, however, and I'll say this, no disrespect, kia kaha, to our protesters. Mm. It had to happen. Mm. Okay, so when I see the climate to which we're in, okay, we're in a climate where we had mandates, COVID, you know, and all this sort of scenario. There had to be a response. Occupation was going to be the response. There was going to be a resistance. Now, by the way, resistance isn't negative. Mm. It's all part of what was going to happen. Mm. So mandates, COVID, you know, put your mask on, two metres distance, you know, fears here, fears there, fears everywhere. <laughs> uh, oh, everybody needs some laughing gas. <laughs> They need to get stoned <laughs> on the hype of community. <laughs> but in that, uh, it was only natural that there was going to be a resistance. Because mm. you can't stop a resistance. A resistance will always be there. Yeah. Right? And it's all part of it. Mm. It's all, But it's part of the journeys. Mm. Now, there are, and I'll say no disrespect, there are those that are easily led. Easily led. And that can be actually detrimental. Mm. Because why? You just do what you're told. Oh, you do what you're told. Oh, you just go where you're, uh, you know, to me, to me, to me, and Maldi. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know. But there needed to be resistance. And you know what's ironic? This is the height. The, 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 pro the, the activity in the Wellington occupation was all about no mandates. So what have we got now? No mandates. <laughs> yes. So we actually ended up getting what they were protesting about. Now that we got it, what do we do? Well, this is the issue. Right. Okay, now we come to stage two, and this mm. is the important part. What we need to do, I believe the answer was seen in Wellington. Mm. Once again, going back to the to that occupation, because what I was able to capture was the community. Okay, so you had all the community there, you had activities happening on the main stage, but then you're not only on the main stage, there were stages. There was the church services that were happening, and you know, up there, there Music was also, and... there, there, there was groups talking, I found myself talking everywhere, <laughs> so, so I found myself getting interviewed by months, and all that sort of thing, so it was happening everywhere. And I love the, 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 the whole community, common unity of the eating. They, they feed the multitudes. Mm. I mean, Jesus fed 5,000, they feed 10,000. <laughs> no offence. Uh, <laughs> uh, so that's what happened. Mm. But, you know, the question that was going through my mind, where's the food coming from? Mm. That was coming from people who were in agreement to what was happening. And so they were giving donations. And they actually had warehouses of kai that was getting donated. That's powerful. Mm -hmm. That was actually taking place. Now, the beauty is I was actually taught, uh, able to interview the person that actually was in charge of that. And I had said to him, look, 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 how, how did this all happen? And he said in his own words, and I'm just echoing what he said, he said, because there was over a million people that donated. Oh. Okay, that's a powerful energy. So we need to take that as the matrix to, that's where we need to go. So we need to look at now what is called community development as stage two. So that we can go from protest to community development. So what was happening in the Wellington scenario, I believe, was actually 
the answer for where we need to go forward. And because we are now in a cooperative needed time, why? Because as of, and um, it was said yesterday on AM show I was watching, and they said that we're looking at as a nation that um, we'll have 7% inflation come Thursday. That's what they're saying. That's just the beginning. So what does that mean? That means this. Okay, the central bank have said, okay, that last week or the week before was uh, 50 points was added. So no, so so what does that literally mean? It means if somebody took out a mortgage for 500000 they would be finding themselves having to pay an extra 165 to $200 per week. Okay, 40% of everybody actually rents, you know. Mm. Huh. So what does that mean? So that means their landlords, because of the extra $165 to $200, that's only if they had taken out 500000 In Auckland, you can't buy a house for 500000 So what does that mean? If it was just done at that level, that was an extra 165 to $200, that would be passed on to the people who are renting. Mm. So what does that mean? We're going to see a economic perfect storm take place. That's right. That means that we're going to see a drop in the real estate price, all that sort of thing. Wow, that's showtime. Because <laughs> you know what it means? Cooperative spirit. Yeah. That means we have to revive what happened in Wellington. Nothing point again. Do you have Māori order? You mean Wellington's going to be relived? Yes, it is, but it's going to be relived in a cooperative spirit. And that's how I see is the answer to where we need to go. So in all of this, the cornerstone of success for tomorrow's vision has to be ingredients of vision, has to be ingredients of integrity. Boy, is that needful. You know what I mean. Now, this scenario could have happened. We could, it could have taken place that there was the Wellington occupation that took place and straight away there was a vision for a new political party. That could have been part of the vision. Albeit, yours truly. Yours truly, yep, the smiley man. <laughs> Would like to say that I believe the way forward is not necessarily a political party. Because to create a political party, you have to actually be up yourself. You have to be a little bit tinge arrogant, just full of yourself, air whore. And you also, because that's how it works. And, that, and you also have to have what an institutionalised and bureaucratic mindset. Mm. That's, how, that's the only way that you can be in politics. Mm. That's how it works. Okay? And, um, it's proven itself, hasn't it? That's right. It's proven itself. So, I believe the way forward is a one voice called Tahitanga. Okay? A one voice community transformation portal. So, that's how I see it. To go forward is actually based on a community. So, okay, we're in Wellington. You've got the protests happening, you've got the occupation there, and then you've got Parliament right there. Okay, the biggest blunder in New S uh, of uh, government. They didn't even get off their blessed assurance and catch and go down in a lift and then just go and meet with them. Mm -hmm. They didn't do that. No. And um, that was the biggest blunder in terms of their response. So, how I see the go forward is the cooperative spirit is the go forward. Now, we could say, okay, parliament was government. Yes. What is government? To my way of thinking, government is, because it's based on governance, it's based on transformation influence. That's what government is. So I believe the best model for transformation authority, governance, is read within a community. So that's why I see the community as the basis to go forward. Mm -hmm. So yours truly has pulled a finger out. And I've decided, okay, I've got to do something. Because I'm, I'm thinking we've got to move forward. Okay. So 
you'll notice at the moment everything on uh, on the news, everything everything on 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 social media is cost of living this, cost of living that, cost of living this. You know we're hemorrhaging economically at the moment. <laughs> Once it pops, it ain't going to be pretty. <laughs> oh, that's right. So, okay. I am in talks. And um, last week, only last week, I contacted a ex, uh, what was a boarding, Māori boarding school, Hatul Pitara, and the Catholics. Oh, well, Hail Mary, kia ora. <laughs> Ten on five. <laughs> See, you've got to have this nature, otherwise you'll get nowhere in this world, well, eh? yeah, yeah. If you're too serial, you know, how do you keep them away? Oh. <laughs> you know, you've got to have a bit of finesse and a bit of spunk and a bit of... Mm. So I contacted them, because I thought, well, okay, this school's been closed down since 2018. Mm -hmm. So I had contacted them and I said, um, I would like to be in talks in relation because of the economic climate to which we're in. I had said to them that um, we need to think in terms of a community being created right where that school is. Mm -hmm. So what does a boarding school have? Well, number one, it has to have a kitchen. Number two, it has to have good ablutions. Because why? Because there would have been a time when there was over 200 students. And, you know, so, so it's actually got the plumbing there. It's, you see what I mean? So that's beautiful for, for just creating a community. It's got a kitchen there. What have all that? And um, so I was in talks with them about it. And they liked what I had to say. And, and some of the advantages I had said, I said, number one, I've got a good reputation with the um, different powers that be, which is needful. You've got to have a good reputation in everything you do. If you want to have a go forward, it's not the one who starts the way, it's the one who finishes it. Mm. Ain't that true? Mm. So it's no use starting with a hiss and a roar and then, that, you know, then you, then you don't get to finish the race. You've got to conclude what you started. So that's where good reputation comes into it. You've got to have good reputation. The other thing is, too, I have a information communication portal. So that's important. It's what you do. Mm. I mean, this is a communication portal. It's letting everybody know what's happening out there. <laughs> Testing one, two, three. Yeah, but... Uh, <laughs> bring it on. Yeah. We're having, we've been having fun today. <laughs> And, and and you've got to have these components. And and uh, so if it goes through, because we're still in the talking stages, and if it goes through, then the beauty about it, I'm looking at creating a community of a minimum of 100 people. So, okay, you've got at the moment um, rentals 650 you know, 700 some are what, even over $1,000. Oh, gosh. Okay. And then you get this inflation going up on Thursday and extra, you know, it's going <laughs> it's going to 7%. Oh, my gosh. They're going to offset all those extras to people who are going to rent. So can you imagine it? We're going to find ourselves in a scenario where those who are renting for 650 have to rent for 850 Come on. Just paying the rent and how much money are they going to have for food? Hmm. So... In a cooperative, in a cooperative scenario, and um, we can make it cost effective. So it's a lot less than six fifty mm. a year. Do you, you know what I'm trying to say. So then that means, but that's got to be done based on volume, mm. based on volume. Because when you get volume, then and, and then the beauty about it is that within that cooperative, because you have to have rules, otherwise it won't work. No. no, you know what I mean. You don't want to be having parties here every night. You don't want to be, you know, <laughs> anyway, it comes. You don't want everybody to be stoned every day and all that sort of thing. And uh, no offense, you stoners. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you still love me. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, so I had even thought, because, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm having to process all this. And then I'm thinking, do you, do you have to have a smoke? 
you know, do you have to make it smoke free? And, and I'll be honest, and I thought about that. And in the buildings, they'll be smoke free. But then I thought, well, you know, you don't want it to be depriving people of smoking because if that's their lifestyle, then that's their lifestyle. Sure. So then I thought, well, okay, you have a smoke free area. Mm. You have an area where the smokers go and then they have a smokers community. <laughs> Community with yeah, the communities. Yeah, no. Communities. So you can imagine all the smokers are there having us fag with each other talking and all that. It's the only way to go forward. Now, I'm going to say this. You've got to hear me on this. And economics is a race. Economics is a battle. And that's what it is. Mm. That's what economics is. Just living life is a battle. <laughs> hey. Totally. And, and it's a race. So, so that we have to understand these. So, in this economics perfect storm, man, is it a wonderful opportunity? Oh yeah, wonderful opportunity. Now, ironically, I saw a perfect example of that, model of that at Wellington. At the occupation, I saw it there, mm. and I thought, "My gosh, here it is here." They're all sharing together. They're all being with one another. Community, common unity. Mm -hmm. That's what it is. Mm -hmm. That's a go forward. You should be charging a consultancy fee on this. <laughs> 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 and, and, and so I can only see optimism. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Albeit I'm a realist, I can see what's happening, where we're going, what's taking place. It's like where we, where we just did, we did the, the filming, where we've just come from Sunscape, right? Here, there was fun. Here, there was rangatahi on skateboards and all sorts. And it was just, that's the way to improve economics. Make it spunky. Make it fun. Make it colourful. Emit the right vibration of transformation. Going back to Parliament. So, okay, for some of you, you're probably thinking, well, okay, Parliament's all about the beehive. Parliament's all about governance based on, you know, our Prime Minister. No disrespect to our Prime Minister, our Ranga Tera Dea. Kia ora. <laughs> Tino Pai, who you still love me? <laughs> oh, that's why they call me the happy face, <laughs> the smiley man. <laughs> you know, hey, do you know what? Smiling does strengthen your immune system. Smiling is, is powerful. Mm, yes, it is. Happiness is, is absolutely, you know, and that's another thing. Why did they spend so much time, you know, about the vaccine? Okay. Killed, I understand. The vaccine. What about treatments? What about strengthening that God-given immune system that you've got in you? Mm -hmm. Why wasn't a lot of attention given to that? You know, smiling is one of them. So, so if you're half dead, hang around the smiley face. <laughs> and you'll come alive. Okay, back to the ranch. Back to the ranch. Okay, we're going back to Parliament. <laughs> The real parliament. The real parliament. <laughs> We've got parliament there. So some of you, your understanding of parliament, okay, is government. It's what's happening at the beehive. It's the debating. It's what's happening in the debating chambers. It's, it's, it's democracy and all these sort of things. That's what you constitute as government. Government, in terms of how I understand, is a transformation authority. Now, we can have a governance within community, but it's organic. And self-governance. That's what motivates you. Mm -hmm. Okay, now for some of you that are listening, okay, currency, you should address that issue. <laughs> what is currency? Okay, could some of you are thinking, oh yeah, you've got to have a real estate portfolio. Okay, real estate portfolio. You've got to have a nice BMW. You've got to have a nice BMW. <laughs> you, gotta, you know, yeah, you've got to live in, I live over in North Shore. Well, that's where Hutton Petador is, by the way. <laughs> you've got to live over in North Shore. You've got to have all these sort of things. 
To me, currency is about community transformation. It's what we emit in terms of leaving the legacy for tomorrow. Check that out. Well, we can tell. Oh, I can't help myself. <laughs> we got lots of bubble in you. Well, that's what happens when you're full of spunk. <laughs> <laughs> we can run the country. Oh, right. this, this, this is the cabinet. We have a new cabinet. <laughs> <laughs> and But you can see, this is what's missing. See, when, when everything was mandates, restrictions, no, lockdowns, 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 <laughs> you know, two metres distance, two metres distance, fear, fear. You see what I mean? Now, that cultured what we're seeing today. Mm -hmm. Because as an economics, you need a pendulum swing. You need momentum. You need, you need momentum, but when you, when you go, you know, two metres distance, okay, make sure you've got your vax bus, make sure you've got your, make sure you've got your mask on. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, you can see, that's not a swing. What that is, is a staggered. A direction. It's totalitarian. No offence there, Jacinda. Kia ora, honey. <laughs> hey, 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 don't, throw, don't throw spears at me, you, you viewers. We still love you. <laughs> <laughs> Not just yet. And now, this is, this is, oh, well, it's hard to be. No. <laughs> well, it's hard to be sober when you're half intoxicated with vision. <laughs> Mm. Whoa, with economic strategy, <laughs> with up and make it happen, you know, you know what I mean. I mean, I live in this space. I'm an innovation all the time. I'm occupying this real estate of mm. transformation. Mm. I'm looking at so that going back to currency, okay, currency. <laughs> You you may find, oh, well, you know, I'm going to leave the inheritance to my children's children. Da, 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 da. Yep, they're all going to have cars. They're all going to have houses. Oh, that's wonderful. <laughs> yeah, 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 and then as soon as you die, which they're happy that you're dead, <laughs> what do you think they're going to do with your inheritance? You leave the, the inheritance that I see as real currency is what I can leave to the whole community. Mm. And the legacy that I want to be remembered for it's the legacy of the good that I did. And how the vibration of what I admitted in terms of my conversation has has left a major contribution to the go forward of today. Mm. So I've got a whole different spectrum of understanding of government. I've got a whole different spectrum of how we get the economy going. So this is literally what happened, okay? We went from... <clears throat> mandates, and then they thought, crumbs, our economy's turning to you know what, um, like they talk about a bowel movement that got thrown around, <laughs> well we know what was hitting the fan, <laughs> yeah. what that bowel movement was, the economy, and uh, you know, and, and the interesting thing is this, is that these ingredients like fun, mm -hmm. these ingredients of laughter, these ingredients, so this is what they did. They went from mandates and then they were oh, crumbs, we've got to do something about the economy. So then they started throwing out millions of dollars of vouchers so that people could go to the zoo. <laughs> so that people could go to these different places. This is literally what they did. You know what they were trying to do? They went from to try and get that. see what's happened. So if you want to see fluidity in our economic system, upon which everything is founded, then you've got to have that. Mm. You've got to have that. So you can't have uh, staggered. You can't have um, lockdowns. <laughs> you can't have this sort of thing. You can't, you know, and you think about it, you know, <clears throat> they, they, in mandates, in that mandates period, we still found we were getting, what, 10,000 cases per day. <laughs> so that didn't work. So then they'd say, okay, we have to go to no mandates. Let's try that one. So what they're trying to do is get into fluidity. So we, that's right, you, listening, watching, we can be the transformation authority of that fluidity. But 
then we get this scenario. Have we got unity in our in the camp of the freedom peoples? I believe not, unfortunately. Is that how you feel? Yeah, there's division, definitely. Explain that. Because there's people within the, the movements that believe in different things. And there's not the their different journeys but not on the same path. Okay. So you see schism, mm. division at the moment. Is mm. that what you're saying? Yeah. Okay. So we're going to have to have one vision. Mm. A. Kotahi Tanga, by the way, in Māori, means oneness. Oneness is not a numeric value. No. It's based on oneness of purpose. Yes. Oneness of mindset. Oneness in terms of that. Doesn't mean we have to be kind of each other. <laughs> we're not talking about that. Uh, you know, we're not talking oneness of wairua, spirit. Hihapu tahi tato. Yeah, that's right. And so that's what we need. Because we're talking about from protest now to community development. Co-living spaces. That's right. And working together, being able to make it happen now. That's what we're talking about. So once again, I come back to that word, integrity. <laughs> mm. Boy, how important is that? Mm. If we're going to make it. Otherwise, you're going to end up with the same schism, the same division, the same, you know, system that didn't work, no. that everybody's resistant. <laughs> mm, exactly. You, you know what I mean? And you find that the same habits that are happening in the new... Same actually, bowel movements. And yeah, the oh, smells. yeah the, cells, the same bowel movements. The different smells. <laughs> and we know what was hitting the fan. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it wasn't mine. <laughs> and so we do have to look at this go forward. Mm. We do have to... Otherwise... We're just a cruise ship with no captain heading that's into right. icebergs. That's that's exactly right. Mm. And that's where there has to be that foundation. Mm. I would like to think that tomorrow will be more rosier than what we've come through. You know. I believe that and so once again, so so what's the Somali man been doing? Well here I am and that's why Hoyeba Fananga Tanga. That's why I've been working on that. That's why I've been working on Joseph's community. Mm -hmm. That's one time where Hail Mary came in, <laughs> came into play. <laughs> no disrespect, but because I was doing the Catholic, so I said, Hail Mary. <laughs> hey, hey, it's helpful with that uh, when you're in this space that you were baptized as a baby and you went to, and you're an altar boy. <laughs> yeah, that's it, eh? I was an altar boy. I can't say I was the best uh, altar boy, but I was an altar boy. <laughs> <laughs> So you get all these scenarios. <laughs> a lot of it, you know, we've got to laugh about this. Mm -hmm. But we've got to be... Our vision can make a difference mm -hmm. if we apply ourselves in the right way. So what I see in this evolution of everything, because we've been we've had the journey, you know. I have seen hatred at a level that I've never seen. Mm -hmm. And it was in prejudice. You know, it was, you know, the amount of arguments that I saw with unvax against, I mean, vax against unvax was just incredible. You know, and I'd say there would be a portion vice versa. <laughs> but I, I mean, the amount of hatred that I saw, I couldn't believe it. You know what I mean? Mm. The antiness. Because you've got to remember, the protests in Wellington was all about no mandates. Right. Well, what have they got now? No mandates. So they got what they aimed for. Mm. So don't be despondent. Don't be depressed. Don't think, oh, that, that amounted to nothing. You know, we got closed down. You don't get closed down. Your, the vibration of your message happened and is happening. We just have to think differently. Mm. I think what most people miss most is the community. Yeah. Is that right? Do Definitely you feel so. that's the case? Definitely so. It's the community. The community that was galvanised at that period. Well, we can do it in phase two. You know. And hoihepa whanongatanga. Don't like what I'm doing. Joseph Communities. You know. And um, the idea of Joseph comes from the Paipeta Tapu. 
because Joseph was actually uh, a economics wizard. He was he was an expert. He was strategic and administrative in the area of being able to offer solutions in a dearth mm. in a climate change period. Mm. That was the, that's what attracted me to the Joseph story. That was in the Pied Peter Temple, in the Bible, because here he is in a time of climate change. He comes in with the answers. Wow. And um, I thought, boy, that's, I need to use that as a object of where we are going in terms of answers for today. So I'm looking forward to this. I think, I think for every one of us, our callings reach a climax at the right time. Definitely. Yeah, definitely so. You know what I mean? Mm. I mean, your journey, where you are today, okay? So that would have been out of compassion. That would have been out of um, dissatisfaction, mm. not happy. Mm. Would that be true? Mm. Very much so. Got to do something? Yeah. Did you wake up one morning and say, that's it? I can't be part of the status quo. I have to make a difference. Mm. Did you wake up one morning and say that? One afternoon, maybe. One afternoon. <laughs> yeah. But in doing that, you reach your high calling. Because mm. we all have callings. We all have reasons for the seasons. Mm. And we all have purpose. My mum did not bring me into this world so that I could be a failure. I was brought into this world by my parents in order to leave a positive legacy. Mm -hmm. So that's the beauty about where we are today. So it's a bit like uh, watch the space. Because this time next week, well, it could be Hail Mary and I've got the school. Tino boy, And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to call a meeting at the Marae there. And interested parties, but this is going to be the line. What are you going to contribute to the community? Mm. Hey, bring it on. Mm. Because that's the only types I want. Yeah. I don't want people that want to take, take, take. I want people who give, 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 eh, <laughs> That's got to be the co papa. Has to be. Because otherwise it won't work. No. So they had even said, you know, the, the, the powers that be with the Catholic denomination, they said to me, they said, oh, um, <clears throat> even concerning the, 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 the area that's got accommodation, the area where the classrooms are, hey, they don't need, that, that, they're amazing, <laughs> they're really solid. But the area that had the accommodation, because it was 1928 or somewhere around there, it was in the 20s, could be 25, that's when the school opened. And um, so the accommodation area needs some money, needs some love. And leaks and they need some love. And what does that look like? Carpentry love. <laughs> what does that look like? Plumber's love. <laughs> what does that look like? Engineer's love. Mm. Yours truly is not in that category. I can make it happen, but I haven't got that skill. Mm. But I don't have to worry because in a cooperative, we're going to have that skill. Mm. Damn, then this is what's going to happen. This is a prognosis. Then this is what's going to happen. Everybody's going to look over the fence. Mm. Government's going to look over the fence. Yeah. And then you're going to see governance based on a matrix of community. Did you hear me on that one? Hmm, watch out. <laughs> common unity. Common unity. Uh, common unity. Mm. And that's how we have to see it. Mm. And so, yeah. It's time now. So this would not have happened if there weren't such an economic climate. And you can see the change that's happening. There been Grant Robinson, our person in charge of finances within government. Even now, the, the rhetoric, the tone of Q&A, the way it's been asked, the questions have been asked. So we're in the past... Um, everything's been rather nice, coochie woo type of thing, you know. But now they're starting to get more, the questions are getting more fine. And the reason being, because they can see what's uh, the bowel movement that's hitting the fan. Mm. <laughs> Did you hear me on that one? <laughs> hey, we're going to laugh about it. Yeah. Because, you know, the main media started bringing out all this bowel movement that was getting thrown around, right? right, right. So we're going to take that and then make it into a 
cliche, you whore. Hey, by the way, don't any one of you practice these techniques? You'd be nice. Because <laughs> we still haven't found the footage, have we? <laughs> uh, here we go. So, it's wonderful in a sense that we're at this time. It's wonderful in a sense that we're at this time. It is. For such a moment to act as this. It's an honour, really. Oh, yeah. Yeah. As, yeah. And, and that's what's needed. To go forward has to have been based on innovation. Mm -hmm. You know, has to be people of visions mm -hmm. that can see into that realm. It's a intuition of seeing into the future. Mm -hmm. You gotta be able to read the future. Mm -hmm. I come from a Porto Piti name. I come from a, a prophet's lineage. Yeah, that's right. Te fiti o rongo mai. Yeah. And te atiawa e parihaka. So in that lineage, there's that skill of seeing the future. <laughs> Economics is about seeing the future. Mm -hmm. Somebody had to have a vision that hamburgers work so McDonald's came about. <laughs> One of these. Uh, you know, you know, you know. Somebody had to have a vision that 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 uh, uh, chickens being fried would work. So Kentucky Fried Chicken came about. Yeah. See what I mean? They just saw it in a different light. Everybody else just saw chickens being cooked. Yeah. He saw that no chickens can be marketed, and look where that's gone. You see, that's where intuition. It's called prophetic, puru piti and Maori. Intuition, economic intuition. Mm. Boy, I should be charging you a consultancy fee. <laughs> Give me another one of these. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh, you'd think that we're half stoned. We are. We're <laughs> intoxicated on the on positive vibe. Mm. And that's what I love. Mm. And because if you keep company with people who are innovators, you become an innovator. Mm. You keep company with people who have got faith, you'll be you become full of faith. You become what you think about. Yeah, that's right. So it's, it's keeping that, you know what I mean? Mm. If you if you find you keep company with negativity, then you'll find that negativity will keep on coming your way. <laughs> so you've got to choose who your friends are. Mm. So this community has to be based on, obviously, optimism. It has to be based on innovation. It has to be based on go forward. It has to be based on all of that. It has to be where we just left. Yep. You know, there's some... Brilliant positive vibes here, eh? Right? 100%. And you know, and we'll jump right in the middle. You're going to town with your camera. Because <laughs> <laughs> oh, if we don't, what happens? Yeah. <laughs> but we made good of that space. Mm. We walked into there, didn't know what was happening. Next thing, camera comes out. Next thing, that's happening. Next thing, that's happening. All that sort of thing. And I believe those spaces that come our way, if you don't take advantage of it, you miss it. That's it, yeah. But I knew when we left, like where we were, Sunscape, I knew that you couldn't rehearse that. No. If we tried doing it again, it wouldn't work the same. No. It just happened in that space. It's a moment there in the yeah, time. Yeah, but it's taking time, advantage it? of that space, air hall. Yeah. And uh, because when you take advantage of that space, and so I find, and you find it yourself, I mean, how many times you get into a position where you had to actually just interview people you've never even met? And, and, and you, have to, um, you have to impromptu come up with, um, with your script. Um, yeah. <laughs> you haven't had a time for a rehearsal, no. but it's called uh, real time filming. Mm. <laughs> yeah. And that's what people want today. That's what people really want today. The truth. That's right. Mm. So it's wonderful in this journey to which we are. So that's the answer. Yes, it is. It's from protest now to communities. Development. So, okay. Kia kaha, those of you that are protested, and that was important. We now need to get on to stage two. Did you hear what I'm saying? I'm I'm here to uffy those of you that, you know, kick up, man. You had the goneheads to get out there and make it happen. And, you know, I, my thumbs up. Having said that, notwithstanding, <laughs> we now need to think about stage two. Ooh, could you woo? <laughs> and that's all about going into community development. Mm -hmm. Is stage two. 
and then what's happened is it's it's a bit like the protesting scenario. It's a bit like a plow. It had to break the mm -hmm. ground. Mm -hmm. You know, it had to unearth what was underneath and you couldn't see. You know you know what I mean? It's a bit like that, eh? You have to get out there, you have to jolt everything. But then you've got to get to a place where you put the seed in the soil. Mm -hmm. You gotta put you see what I'm saying. So you get into cultivation mode. Mm, yes. <laughs> You've gone from ploughing mode to cultivation mode. Mm -hmm. And that's where we are now. Would you agree? Yeah. We're, we're at cultivation yeah. mode. It's time to go into planting the seeds for tomorrow's generations. So doesn't mean start a political party. Yeah. As if that will get you a long way. <laughs> You'd have to be bureaucratic and then you'd have to have an institutionalised mindset. Oh, to me, to me, to me. <laughs> yeah, don't forget to pay you, you. Don't forget to count the payouts. I mean, the votes. <laughs> <laughs> See, so, so, so the, the beauty about it, but that's because our, our psyche and mindset needs to shift. Mm. Mm. And yeah. then it comes back to this word integrity, I keep on saying. Because if you want change, you've got to change. And how do we change with integrity? Well, see, like you had mentioned about how you get uh, people that have had, uh, you know, that have been the protest movement. I ask you this question. Is the protest movement unified? Mm. And then, of course, you had said to me that um, that's where the area of need is, is coming where they can work together mm. and be unified. Okay, so stage two will never, ever be fulfilled until we've got kotaitanga, oneness of purpose. Having said that, in this level, it's going to take integrity. Mm. integrity. And I love that word integrity because if I... Okay, the reason why this house stands is because it's got integrity. So to bring integrity into this fuddy that we're sitting in, there had to be a foundation. Mm -hmm. There had to be concrete. Mm -hmm. There had to be laying of everything like that. Mm -hmm. the, 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 you know, <laughs> the wiring. I mean, all as I can see, you can turn the pink and lights on. <laughs> but the engineer will say, oh yeah, but it takes the right wiring to be able to turn those lights on. You mm -hmm. see, mm -hmm. we have to think that way. We have to think, oh yeah, it's going to take the right wiring to get to there to do that. That's called integrity. Mm -hmm. Man, boy. So that's what we're talking about. Go forward's going to have to be based on integrity. And we know that um, we're not only the only source of truth. <laughs> We've heard that cliche before. Oh, yeah. Where'd that end up? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That might be one of those bowel movements that hit the fan. <laughs> only one source of it. Hey, who needs to watch TV? Watch us! <laughs> <laughs> this is awesome. This has been a great. Yeah, it's been, I've really enjoyed this, man. Oh, <laughs> but we've hit it. Mm. We've hit it. Mm. Hey. Yeah. And I must say, going back to the man that I love it at Sunscape. <laughs> but then we come into a different environment here. Mm. And it's more relaxed, and we can sit down and we can discuss. So, to those of you that have listened, Kia Kaha, and I really mean it. Mm. And we can make a difference in this world with a smile. And integrity is going to have to be the way forward. Hoihepa, whanonga tanga, in principle, it's not a new thing. There's cooperatives happening out there. And I understand that. So I told took all those of you that are out there doing it. Because even where we were, in the Sunscape, that's accommodation for about 30, 40 people. You know, that there is a, is a Joseph community. It's already happening. You know, so that's going to be the way forward. And um, I appreciate your karakia too. Mm. You know, a bit of Hail Mary. <laughs> so when I work with the, when I work with the Catholics. <laughs> yeah. and, and I'm looking forward. If that goes through... I tell you what, there'll be a part two to the story. Yeah, I'll contact you. So, yeah. I'll take you to the school. Mm. Hey, that's where the next story may be. Part three. <laughs> part three. It's actually come to the actual premise and we'll look at it and break it down and how the vision's going to work. We can have before and after and say, oh, yes, we can see this over here. We can see this over there. We can go there, 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 there. And then the next one, it is like that. 
<laughs> I did this stuff. Vision is a very powerful gift. It's a gift that I believe that we've all been invested with. I believe that. Mm. I believe we're all visionaries. I just believe it takes the uh, confidence to know how to do it. I believe that vision is a gift from Iwatua. It's a gift from God himself that was placed in us. And that gift of vision, don't ever let that be liquidated in your personal life. Mm. That's the one. <laughs> it's amazing. Thank you so much, Smiley. It's yeah. been amazing. That's, uh, you know, what, what, what we've gone through and where it's heading is, is, is pretty beautiful. What, what a time to be alive, eh? Yeah, what a time to be alive. And I thought I was born in the wrong era. Oh, yeah. Yeah, very powerful. Yeah. Right timing. That's it. Right bandwidth. Mm. <laughs> right mindset. Right mindset. Mm. Yeah, that's right. Awesome. Awesome. Thanks so much, eh? Kick out, man. All right. We'll see you soon. Uh, yeah, for sure. Part three, coming soon. Yeah, part three. Come on. 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 Come on.